Episode six. All right, so today's episode is titled Don't Let Me Be Misunderstood. Um, I figure it's the best title to to the type of video that this is going to be. Um, so my sister and my brother are going to do some questions and then I'm going to answer it. I told them not to tell me the questions so that I give you a, a real life answer. So hopefully they're... They take it easy on me. So hopefully, I guess with those questions, you understand me a little better. So uh, my sister's going to read out the questions. Uh, she has 10 questions, and my brother has 10 questions. And we'll see what how that goes. Okay. So my sister will read out her 10 questions. So here it is. All right, Brenda. <laughs> All right. Question number one. What's your intake on all girls are the same? What's my intake on all girls are the same? I think um, women are beautiful in their own way. They are all the same because something about them makes them unique. And, you know, without going into any specifics, they share something unique about them that I guess attracts men. And, and yeah, I think that they're all the same. I hope that answered that question. <laughs> <laughs> question number two. You have jumped many hurdles through your lifespan. Would you say they have all been worth it? <clears throat> I would say that each hurdle is, is more of a, a course in life. I think it, it requires um, some struggles to end up in the road that you're going to finish at. And without those hurdles or detours, you really wouldn't end up living your life. So each hurdle is worth it. Um, because it makes you stronger, you know, especially if you fall, it makes you stronger uh, when you come back up and it lets, gives you the strength to finish the other hurdles. So, all right. Question number three, do you ever regret your career preference? Um, do I regret my career preference? Um, no, I think that, that some of the joys I've had in life or some other greater moments I've had in my life have been because of my career you know being a teacher has enabled me to meet a lot of people you know adults and especially students and athletes and I think that that I just kind of forgot your question <laughs> but that's my answer to that question all right question number four if you could go back in time, what would you change? If I could go back in time, I would change my last answer. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I could go back in time, I would change... Um, if I could go back in time, I would change the gratitude and appreciation I've had for everybody around me. And I think they've, they've deserved more of me all throughout this time. And if I could change anything, I'd definitely give a lot more sooner to them so that I could enjoy them a lot better, longer. Question number five, who do you look up to? Who do I look up to? <laughs> um... <clears throat> There's a lot of people that I look up to. I look up to different people in different contexts. Um, you know, definitely um, the one who's taught me hard work and and the value of life has been my mom. But if I'm gonna mention one person that I look up to, it would have to say, you know, God for being able to to put up with all the evils that He went through and still do the right thing. I think that that's something to look up to. How do you deal with evil and manage to stay good for people? So, Question number six. As our family's role model, do you ever feel pressured to let any of us down? <clears throat> um, I don't feel pressure to let people down. I, I think that 
part of being me is being um, real. And if there's anything that that people don't agree with or, or that my family might not find something to look up to, um, I think that's also part of understanding that we're all human and we make mistakes. So you can't, I don't think we can live um, our lives, you know, walking on thin ice. I think um, we should be real to ourselves first before we consider anybody else. And if that's something to look up to, then then it just comes with that. But I don't I don't really thread carefully because of it. So. Question number seven. Number seven. As a teacher, what is the hardest thing you deal with? <clears throat> the hard the hardest thing I've had to deal with as a teacher is having to see my students go. I think that, you know, you share memories with them and you make a bond with them and then because of life, they just end up having to go their own course and sometimes you don't get to see them again and they mean a lot to me and that's probably been the hardest thing to understand and realize as a teacher that they're not my kids per se, that I, I get the opportunity to share some time with them. but. Eventually, they will have to take their own path, and you know, as a human being, it's emotionally draining because I meet kids every year, brand new set of students, and brand new set of memories, and I have to watch that go. So, I would, I would say that that's my hardest thing. Question number eight: Has money changed the way you see others at all? Has money changed me? Yeah, because I think it's changed me because I hate being broke. <laughs> it has definitely changed me because if I had money, I wouldn't be this poor. <laughs> so, yeah, money has changed me. I wish I had more money. <laughs> Question number nine. Are you happy with your life right at this moment? <clears throat> I think the best part of my life has been this moment. And I think that every day is the best day I could ever live because every day I've learned to be a different person and be better for other people. So as of today, right now when this video is being recorded, it's definitely the best time of my life until I meet the future of my life, my next life. <laughs> then my answer will change. <laughs> yeah, just kidding, no. no, no, my answer doesn't change. Okay, so question number 10. I decided not to make a question. I decided to tell you something. Um, so with every heartache that you have been through, I have never seen such a strong soldier. To me, you are a role, you are a role model with a wonderful soul that can be weak at times but never broken. Next question. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to make a video about response to that. So I think it's worth more than just a brief answer. So, all right. All right. Well, next um, time. My next 10 questions are from my brother. Um, he's a little bit more explicit. <laughs> <laughs> so let me see if he wants to ask him himself. But probably not. <laughs> he chose to opt out of asking me questions. Um, but he making signals for you guys to like and subscribe to his channel. <laughs> <laughs> so my sister's going to ask his 10 questions. And please try to listen to them or hear them in my brother's voice. <laughs> okay, so... From JC. Now question number one. How many pairs of shoes do you own? Whew. How many pairs of shoes do I own? Um, not enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have the exact number, but I just have shoes I've never worn and 
I have a plan for them, and maybe if you keep watching these episodes, you you'll see what I plan to do with those shoes. So, all right. Question number two. And it's not giving them away. <laughs> I just plan to wear them. <laughs> Question number two. Why a teacher? Why a teacher? <clears throat> um. Why a teacher now? My students, my athletes, and the memories I've shared. Why teacher before? Because that's where life took me. Um, I had other plans, and and that's the path it went. But why am I still a teacher? Is is because exactly that I've learned to to see my life around it, and it's matured me as a person. Every experience, whether it's good or bad, it's matured me. So that's why now. Question number three, why Fabens? Why Fabens? Although I'm not supposed to say the district name, but because they are the best district I have ever worked for, because they have the greatest kids, although in, in my other district they have the greatest kids too, but definitely I feel appreciated in this district. Um, I've grown... As a coach, I've had the opportunities uh, to grow as a coach there. Um, a lot of love for my athletic director and all all of the coaching staff. My head football coach, he's a head football coach too. Have a lot of love for him because, you know, although we had our disagreements, he's managed to find who I am as a coach and teach me that I'm not always right. And... And I think that that's why Fabens, because they've managed to to look at me as what I can do for the kids and the opportunities that they've they've given me, and I, I that's why. <laughs> Question number four: What is your favorite hobby? My favorite hobby, as of right now, is watching myself on camera. <laughs> No, my favorite hobby is, um, I'm going to say, um, without mentioning my job or my family, something that is just me is cutting my hair so I look fly all the time. That's my favorite hobby. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, question number five. What's your favorite day of the week and why? My favorite day of the week is Saturday nights. My worst day of the week is Sunday mornings. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Question number six. What gets on your nerves? Um... <laughs> What gets on my nerves? <sighs> mm. <laughs> As of right now, nothing really. Um, I'm pretty patient. So, as of right now, nothing gets on my nerves. Except... <laughs> No, I just kidding. No, I think it's on my nerves. Um, question number seven. What relaxes you? <laughs> what relaxes me? Um, that. <laughs> Thinking and reflecting and... And giving myself time to to be alone and, and, and reflect on my decisions and reflect on what I'm doing currently with my life. That's what relaxes me. Question number eight. What do you know how to cook? <clears throat> what do I know how to cook? Mm, 
Well. <laughs> I drink a lot of Herbalife. So <laughs> if anybody wants Herbalife, hit me up. <laughs> I know how to make Herbalife shakes. And that's it. Question number nine. <laughs> What would you want to learn how to cook? <laughs> what would I learn? Want to learn how to cook? Um, I would want to learn how to make new Herbalife shakes. <laughs> so I don't drink the same ones all the time. <laughs> uh, next question. <laughs> question number 10. What is your go-to meal? <laughs> What's my go-to meal? Guys, Herbalife has made me lose weight. They are great. Um, and that's my go-to meal. I, if I'm hungry, that's what I drink. Uh, Herbalife with water. <laughs> um, so those were the 10 questions for my brother. I, my brother was a little bit nicer than my sister, I would say. <laughs> with, her, with his questions. <laughs> but... Um, I'll definitely try to do this again. Uh, more questions. I do have an additional question that my nephew wanted to ask, so I'm gonna answer that one. What has been your best gift? The best gift I've gotten has been you as a subscriber. <laughs> No, the best gift I've gotten has been self-worth. I think that I've learned to value myself. And without that, it would make it would have made um, a bunch of things a lot harder. And knowing that I can offer something to somebody that is not materialistic, that is not money, that has been the greatest gift is being able to to know that I'm worth more than what you see, you know, this handsome face. <laughs> no, you know, my what I have to offer somebody. And without me discovering that, that, that wouldn't be possible. So uh, that's my answer to that question. So thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's a little longer than most, but definitely worth every minute of it. Um, something different.